This nigga Jamal Hill, man. I mean, he's the champ. The champ. The light heavyweight champion. Look, I've been watching his Instagram reels. I was just dying laughing. I had to make a video about it. But, like, dude, this nigga posts with the belt. Everywhere he go. <laughs> you see him with the belt. He's walking around with the belt. Like, oh, I'm the champ. I'm the champ. I'm the ch Every post, it's I'm the champ. I'm the champ. Puts the belt over here. And then he starts putting some music up. Boah, and then he walks into the room. <laughs> it's like, dude, bro. And then another second, he's standing in front of this car and he's got a belt on he's got a belt on his shoulder and he's standing in front of his like Ferrari or something. That's rented. It's a rental. It's it's a rental, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like you know what I'm saying? Every time you see him, he's like celebrating with the belt. I get it. I mean he won the belt, but still like you never defended it. You never defended the belt. You never defended it. <laughs> you know, some would say that that makes you a fake, like not a real champion until you, you're not a champion until you defend your belt. You know, you're not a champion until you defend your belt, bro. But you're just walking around with the belt all day, but it's like, and then imagine it would age really badly if you got knocked out in his next fight by Yuri Prohaska, because that's the fight that makes sense. Um, for all of you guys that don't know, Yuri Prohaska was the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion after he beat Glover Teixeira for the belt he beat glover and then he was supposed to fight him again because the fight was so exciting and beautiful and amazing to watch but he pulled out because he had a shoulder injury and then after that the story doesn't end there there's more jan blahovic jan blahovic and ankalaev fought for the title because they were the next in line if you look at the rankings jamal hill was not i'm not sure why he was in the ranking but i think the yeah, Al fight made more sense because they were former champions. Uh, not both, but Jan was a former champion and Ankalaev was um, the contender. He was like one of the top contenders. Ankalaev is a very, very good fighter. Ankalaev would be Prohaska. He would be Poatan, Pereira. He would be Hill. He would be all of those guys. Every single one of them. I think he would beat them. It's just a matter of time until he becomes champion again. I mean, it's just a matter of time. But, um, yeah, man, this nigga always with the belt, bro. Everywhere you go, he's wearing the belt. It's like, dude, put the belt here, man. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, dude, man, come on, bro. Like, you won the belt, like, a while ago now. I don't see Israel Adesanya running around with the belt everywhere. I don't see Zhang Wei Li running around with the belt everywhere. I don't see John Jones walking around everywhere with the belt. <laughs> it's like, I get it. It's new. A new experience you know he, he he didn't i mean he's good at making social media content but still it's like nigga you you won the belt you beat a glover Teixeira that was like 43 years old he was coming off a loss old man glover you beat a 50 year old glover you know, and Glover's slowing down. He wasn't even throwing that many punches per round. He was done, bro. Like, the fight shouldn't have even really happened. I mean, really, the Yuri fight, he was also pretty declined by then, too. So, let me tell you one thing I don't like about MMA fights. If, if Yuri was posting those pictures with the belt and with the belt all the time and in front of his car and showing off with the belt, then everyone would, would 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 say, "Oh, he's the champ! He's the champ! He's the champ! Yeah, let's go, let's go!" But now that it's uh, Jamal Hill, everyone's saying, "Oh, everyone's saying, oh, this nigga posting with the belt all the time, like he he all up in the video, <laughs> like uh, what do you call it? That guy that's always taking the spotlight for his son." Yeah, man, like. Every second, dude, if I look at his Instagram page, it's him with the bell, him with the bell. <laughs> oh my God, I just, I just don't understand, like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What was the point? And then if you lose the next fight against Yuri, I mean, he might not fight Yuri because Yuri's still out, right? The fight, the fight that would, well, come on, Pereira, a lot of people are telling me that Pereira, Pereira deserves a title shot at 205, but why? Why would he deserve a shot? What the fuck has he done? 
He won the belt at 185, and then he lost the fight. And he lost the belt in his first title defense. He, to be honest, Pereira didn't even deserve the first title shot at 185. He didn't even deserve that fucking title shot. So, you know, to say that he deserves to fight Hill now, it's like, what the fuck, dude? You lost the fight. You, you get a title shot off a loss? How does that make any sense? He has to fight and earn a title shot at 205. Because... Okay, let's see. He should fight Jan Blachowicz. He's fighting Jan Blachowicz, right? That's that's who he's fighting next. So he has to beat Jan, and then there's a title shot. If he knocks out Jan, title shot. This is pretty much undeniable at that point because Jan's a top contender. I mean, even though he's not, he's like Jan Blachowicz's stand up is fucking good, man. Like it's really fucking good. His leg kicks are good. His stand up is. Very good, Jan Blachowicz. So I don't know, man. That's a tough fight. Pereira might lose. I mean, he might wrestle him, take him down, smother him, pass the guard. Yeah, but Jan Blachowicz's jujitsu is not his strongest asset. It's not. His jujitsu is not his strongest asset. His his um, what's what's Jan's strongest asset? His stand up. He's a striker. He's he's a striker with some type of grappling pedigree, but. Not really. He don't have no grappling pedigree. He's he's a good fighter with some good wrinkles to his style, but necessarily he's not necessarily like a Khabib Nurmagomedov on the ground or an Uncle Ive on the ground or a Craig Craig uh, what's it called Craig uh, Smith or something. Uh, Paul Craig, like he's not a Paul Craig or even a Glover Teixeira. No, he's not. He he's gonna stand up and fight you. And if the fight's going against him, he's gonna go for a takedown. I mean, there's nothing. There's no secrets there. It's it's um, yeah. There's no secrets there, man. Yeah, there's there's none. There's no secrets there. It seems. Uh, I, I mean, if I was gonna bet on that fight, who would I pick? I'd probably pick Jan Blahovich, but I don't know. I'm not sure what the betting lines are right now. I mean, the fight's like pretty far, so it's not the next fight. Um. Pereira, let's let's dig deeper a little bit into Pereira though, by the way. Like, this nigga Pereira didn't even deserve the title shot against Adesanya the first time. Who did he beat? Who did he beat? He beat Andreas Mikaldis, and then he beat Bruno Silva, and then he beat Sean Strickland, right? <laughs> Three fights to get a title shot. So he basically got fast tracked to a title shot. And then everyone's telling me Hamza shouldn't get a title shot. Why not? Pereira got fast tracked. He only won three fights. Three fights. Three. Only three fights. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. He didn't deserve it the first time. He got it because of what Izzy did in the division. That's why. <laughs> 